it's gonna be a cold one today. All we gotta do is bearing trees on a, what is it, a quarter corner and a section corner, copy. This place looks a little different. They laid them all down, copy. Holy moly, they knocked all this down too. Boy, they got after it since I was here. Right on. I'm really hoping I can get all the way out to that upper ridge up there without equipment or something in my way because that'll make life a lot easier. But boy, you can see it for a while now. Trojan fan. Sweet, I don't think anybody's up here. I'm gonna have the whole mountaintop and ridge to myself so I can do my thing. I'm so glad this line marking's done because this is some steep country and where we're going right now is about the steepest part of it but we don't have to do much on it so that's fine copy we have arrived i was wrong this is the 16th corner out here so we only got to do two bearing trees unless we find one because uh forest service said it was an alder and then another surveyor said it was a fir so we'll see if we can find one of them copy all right, I think we've got everything we need to bail off. Tree tags, scribe, axe, ribbon, paint, field book. Spencer tape. What am I forgetting? Nothing? Okay. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? All I'm carrying is an axe. I don't know. Figure it out once it's too late, I guess. Oh, uh, yes. Anybody remember this place? Straight down for a while. Going down is the easy part. Coming back out is a trudge. Remember from a video about a month ago of us traversing out of here. Oh, here's one of our control points. Boy, this is rock rolling country. And the viney maple patch. Always fun. Okay, so this stump right here is a bearing tree, but he's a stump. So we still got to do two more for this 16th corner. Copy. So we need two new bearing trees in here in different quadrants. These are all hemlocks. Uh, that's fine. Let's pick two, maybe that one. This one? Okay. Well, there's kind of a knot right here, but... I think I should be able to get her done. All right, let's see if we can make that work. All right, we got one done over there. BT section nine, one sixteenth center east. And then we got this one. Oops, oops. Center east, that's a goofy looking E. <laughs> one sixteenth section nine, BT. Paint them up, write up some tree tags, get angles and distances, bearing and distance off of that. And uh, hike out back to the truck way up there. Then drive all the way around the creek bottom and go do another section corner. We need four accessories. Yep. All right, there's one tree tag done. Tree tag will read the direction towards the pin, and on the map it'll read from the pin towards the bearing tree. So this is north 60 east, but standing at the pin it'll be south 60 west. Copy. Okay, that's gonna do it. Let's hike out of here. I got paint all over my phone, darn it. Man, this is a big hole to climb out of, but I see the top. Crappie. I'll never to go back into that spot. No, nowhere for me to turn around. And I sure can't see anything out of my rear view mirrors with this sun glare. And I kind of don't want to go off the side of the cliff. Oh, there we go. Just use the phone. I right, just look at the screen. Copy. All right, we drove around to the bottom down on the creek. I just ran an elk off the road. We're going to hike in here a couple hundred yards to the section corner and do some more BTs. The elk don't walk over logs, but I do. They just go blip, blip, blip. Man, they were here today. 
they were here real recently. They might be running from me right now. All right, so here's what's going on here. Some surveyor came in and set this pipe into this stump. And I think we've decided that we are going to replace it. We got it tied and we've marked property line out of here. There is an accessory over here, a brass cap that calls to it. You can see it says R RM reference monument. So this is the corner, but we don't like it because this thing's gonna go away and that'll take this with it. So since we have our stuff in here, that's a little frozen. We're going to, I'm just gonna come in here and pick some buried trees. We need one in each quadrant. The accessory brass cap will be in one quadrant and then three others. But I'm not gonna pull angles and distances to this until we come in, reference this off and, uh, and reset it. And then I'll get stuff for the map. Copy. So which way is north in here? That way. So that brass cap will be in the northeast quadrant. I need something in the southeast quadrant. Um, any of those trees. And then the, and in this one, it didn't look like, let's see. Yeah, so this quadrant looks like there's nothing going to be here that I, I don't like doing cherry trees. They just rot and die. So I think I'm probably going to, when we reset this, we'll bring the gun in, set over what we replace it with, probably one of our pipes and caps, and then set a rod, a reference rod over here in this quadrant because there's no trees to scribe or blaze, just a bunch of schmuck, schmung stuff. Anyways, let's, uh, maybe that guy, that's a piss fur. I'm not sure what it is. Copy. I think I'm going to choose this guy. Because he's nice and healthy looking, got a nice flat face facing the, facing the pin. I don't need too huge a face on this one because it's just going to say center quarter section 9 BT. I think that should be enough room. Well, not my prettiest work, but it'll work. Center quarter section 9 BT. Three more. One more. Because that's one in south east. The brass cap is one in northeast i'm going to do this tree over here in northwest and then we're going to have the rod when we come back and bring the gun in the south west quadrant this is a spruce well spruce bearing tree copy i got a little spoiled with that hemlock is so easy but spruce does not like to go to get cut across the grain darn it Center quarter, section nine, BT, I got in a knot, so my bee's a little goofy, but instead of making a big hole, we're gonna rock it. And, uh, okay, that, that, that. We're gonna put one here, I think that's it. I think that's gonna be a Friday, y'all. Time for a cold curse light, have a good weekend.